today, children are playing less, both in school, unfortunately, because of the trend towards standards and testing that's really eroded playtime in school. And then, unfortunately, outside of school, kids have so many hours on screens and digital devices that they're not playing like they used to. It's eroding their ability to develop social awareness, emotional awareness on, on some pretty deep levels and, and skills in those areas. It's something we need to remedy fast. <laughs> It's kind of a miraculous thing. Children all over the world know how to play. Nobody teaches them. If you look at young children, you're going to see that they're playing. Anything that's that universal, like walking, talking, must be really essential for human development. Play is the place where children learn how to deal with real world things, where they can take control of them, where they can try things out, where they can see how they work. Yucky. Those neurons are connecting and strengthening as children engage in the world. And much of the time, if you watch them in natural experience, they're playing. And in the process, as children get more developmentally advanced, they bring more and more sophisticated process into their play, and it's so important for optimal development. They're learning how to solve problems. They're doing all this naturally. It's extraordinary how much learning on the social and emotional plane is occurring. You steal! I'm, I'm, I'm using it for the table. I want to help! All right. I want to help! I'll just hold this one. Okay. Play is a very holistic thing. So sometimes we say, oh, we learn concepts, we learn social emotional skills, but the truth is the whole child's engaged in play all the time. They are talking all the time, they're interacting, they're deciding together what they're going to build if it's in blocks and they're building together. It's a, it's a fire truck you learn things about gravity, you learn things about eye-hand coordination, you learn things about geometry. They're communicating about what they're doing and collaborating in the story. They're hearing each other's ideas and altering their own. I'm going to dump this whole thing out for you to make more cupcakes. So I have an idea we can put it It's that concrete, hands-on experience where you try things, you see how they work, you make mistakes. What? You adjust your eye-hand coordination, and every child's going to do that in a different way. What? They're thinking in original ways. They're inventing, they're creating. These are the capacities that we need as human beings. That process they're going through, that learning to problem find and problem solve and being really good at it and getting the satisfaction of doing it, that's what they need to do to learn how to read. Everything that they are going to need for later learning and success in school and life is getting established in the play process in the early years. The better problem finders they are, the more engaged they're going to become in the world, the better learners they're going to be, and the better participants they're going to be.